Hello and welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B-Team. My name is Classic Tim, and today this is the first episode that I'm using my new uh, Rode Podcaster microphone, so hopefully it sounds pretty nice. I'm still working on the settings a little bit, but either way, today we are working on some more Galacticraft, moving along a little bit further here. And actually, um, I've been working pretty hard here. I got the NASA workbench done, and I was able to get all the stuff I need for a rocket. Um... The hardest part about this rocket was definitely the heavy-duty plates, which take um, compressed bronze, compressed aluminum, and compressed steel, which is basically just iron, aluminum, and bronze. And it, they're not, it doesn't take that much. It only takes a couple um, ingots for each one of these. And I think total I needed about a stack and a half of each ingot. I forget the exact number. I think it was like 90-something. But either way, it didn't take that long. It just took... Um, a lot of processing time like you know I've only got this one compressor I, I probably could have made a, another one and it would have gone a little faster but either way um, I just waited around for that to process all the metals into these heavy-duty ingots um, or heavy-duty plates I mean and then each of these they're pretty easy to make they just take more heavy-duty plates which is why I needed so many um, but either way this is actually going to be the first rocket I'm going to make, but before we go ahead and make this rocket, there's a couple more things we got to do. Uh, we already put the launch pad up there, but we're going to have to fuel our rocket somehow. And the only way we can do that is first we have to make a refinery, which I've actually got right here. Um, so first we have to make a couple of these. Just two. That's enough. And then got a couple compressed steel. Um, some stone and a furnace should have all that. Um, I should have all that. Furnace, these, compressed steel. I'm missing these stones, so let's go grab that. I should have it in one of these chests. Uh, there's some. So advanced genetics, it's not like a super hard mod like to get started on since the metals, especially in Attack of the B Team, there's only... You only need a little, a few metals. Um, the hardest part is just crafting everything, but that's pretty standard in most mods. Okay, so I got the refinery here. I'm not sure how this works actually. Can I just put this on the wire here? Um, probably gonna have to. Does it not? Does it not need power? Oh, it doesn't. No, it does need power. Refinery battery slot. Place battery here if not using connected power source. Okay, I am using a connected power source, so why isn't this working? It's not connecting to any of them. Maybe it's got to be up top. It looks like there's a little green thing right there. So let's... Um, the only place I could put it right there. Oh, for some reason it takes fuel from the top. Okay, that's fine. But it's not getting any energy. Is that because it's nighttime? So if I sleep, it should get the energy. That's uh, just because the battery right here is only flowing this way, so no power is going up there. Um, I, I would just put more wires to just go up and over, but I don't have any more wires. Um, I used them all up. Okay, there we go. It's already filled up on energy. So I'm guessing all we need to do is take a bucket of oil and we'll refine it into a bucket of fuel. Um, before we go refining that, let's go ahead and make the fuel loader so we have a place to put them. And again, I should have everything I need for that. Fuel loader. Yep, have everything I needed. There's that. And this is actually going to go up here, I'm pretty sure. And this just uh, loads the fuel directly into the rocket, so let's put that right there. Yep, that's connected. Looks like it's going to work. Oh, this needs power. That's okay, actually. I can probably just bring the battery over here and connect, connect it right there. That should be fine. I just have to make sure that thing fills up with enough energy before I do that. And then I just put the fuel buckets right here. So I'm pretty sure that there's some oil down here. When I was looking around for lava, I found some in this little hole. Down here more. Oh, there's some. Yeah, I, re I remember coming across some. Um, is there more than this? Because this isn't very much. Oh, there we go. Okay. So do you just bucket it up? Am I not doing it right? What? I thought 
thought you just had to bucket it. Oh, there, I got some. Okay. Maybe I'm just not hitting the sources. Oh, yeah, the sources are up top. Water bucket. What? Water bucket? Why am I getting water buckets? Oh, man. I'm stuck. I cannot see a thing. This is not just YouTube. I am, it is pitch black. Okay, let's see if I can mine up, maybe. Okay, there's a little bit. So, yeah, why am I getting water buckets? Compression dynamo, dynamo coolant? What? This is oil, right? I mean, it looks like oil. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do some more research, because I'm... This looks like oil to me. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just typed in oil into the search bar here, and I found a portable oil extractor and a filled oil canister, and probably an empty one, too. So I'm assuming that you actually need these. I thought you could just do it with a bucket, but um, I'll just make a couple of these. So that just takes some more compressed uh, metals here. So we've got three compressed bronze, uh, two compressed steel, and a piece of redstone, which I have here. So that's that, and then I'm assuming that we need an oil canister to actually uh, hold the oil, which is another compressed steel, and um, six compressed tin, which is pretty expensive. I hope this thing doesn't get used up at all. And then another one of these tin canisters, which is just um, like upside down pants with tin. And then a piece of glass, which I don't, I don't think I have a piece of glass. I'm going to go grab one of those. Which I think I have some around here. I have three left. I'm running out. I'm running low. Okay. So that should be that. Okay, so now let's try this again with the oil. Um, I could have sworn that I saw someone's video where they were um, using buckets to do it. But that was probably a while ago. And like I said, I'm not... I'm... Where's the oil? I thought it was down here. Oh, it's probably down here where the water is. But yeah, I haven't really done that much research on Galacticraft at all. So let's see, is this doing anything? i got to get in there a little more. Oh, I'm doing something. Oh yeah, look at that. Filled it up. Almost filled it up. Let's get in there a little more. We've got 800. I'm assuming it holds a thousand because that's what it says up here. So let's dig in here a little more so I can see. Oh, is that enough? Yep. So 1,000 oil. Um, can we get rid of this water? It's kind of annoying. So I have no idea how much I actually need to take off in the rocket. Um, I'm assuming I'll just fill it up as much as I can and then, you know, call it a day. I remember not, it not taking that much, but I don't want to... I don't think I'll be able to take off if I don't have enough fuel, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so yeah, that's one bucket of fuel, so let's refine it. Um, I wonder how long it takes to refine. Oh, it does it tick by tick. Okay, well, I guess I'll just keep on refining this. Um, while this is refining, I'll go fill it up again. So I will be right back. Okay, so I've let this run a little bit now and put a few more buckets in there. Um, and I actually just filled this up with some fuel, this uh, this tin canister. So let's go ahead and put this up in the fuel um, loader and see how much it fills up. And we can kind of gauge how much fuel the rocket's going to need um, through that. So if we just put this here. So that fills it up, you know, a little bit. See, I have no idea how much it's going to need. Um, I know it's not all the way to the top. Actually, let's just let's just build a rocket now. You know why not? We got the stuff, so we'll let that refine up some more fuel, and uh, we'll build a rocket. So I have everything I need here, and you can add some chests to it to add storage. I'm not sure if we're gonna need that, but might as well. Just a few chests. Oh, it looks there's actually particles going off here. It's pretty cool. So that goes there. This goes here. 
cones go here. And then the heavy-duty plates go all in the center. And there we go, a Tier 1 rocket with a storage space of 54, which is from the chests. There we go. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite things about this mod. When you hold the rocket, you literally hold the rocket, like, above your head. I think that's, that's just awesome. Um, it'd be really cool if uh, other mods did stuff like this, where yeah, they had, like, custom uh, holding animations for stuff. Because, you know, some of the stuff, it doesn't really make sense. Like, obviously, if you were to just hold a rocket in your hand, it wouldn't, it wouldn't look just like a little item like this. So that's, that's really cool that they did that. I like it a lot. And you just look ridiculous running around with this giant rocket over your head, even when you fly with it. So, let's go ahead and put this on a little launch pad up here. You know, why not? Even though we are still quite a bit away from actually taking off. And also, I'm going to have to... Um, Let's see. Oh, did I put it down? What? Is it... Did I just duplicate it? Do I have two rockets now? Certainly seems like it. Um, all I did was right-click. Can I get this back? Let's get out of this mode. What? Now I have two rockets. What? I'm not in creative mode or anything, am I? No, I'm not in cheat mode. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Cheats are off on this world. So, can I just keep duplicating the rocket as much as I want? Yeah, look at that. Well, I mean, I don't know how useful that really is. I'm just not like I'm going to need all these rockets. But I'll just go ahead and chuck these just for the sake of not cheating. But that is weird. And I guess I'll just put one more down. Oh, that time I took it. Okay, now I'm confused. Okay, so what was I just doing that it was duplicating the rockets? Holding shift? No. Uh, was I flying? No. That is so weird. Oh, was I, was I in F5 mode? Would that, would that do anything? Because I was in F5 mode. Okay, well now it's working. Maybe I'll check back in the footage and see if I did anything different there, but I don't think so. Um... I just don't have to worry about cheating anymore. Okay, so I'll, I'll probably look up how much fuel I need uh, to get to a space station, which is what we're going to do first. We're not going to the moon or anything. And then I'll also look up what actual items we need to make a space station, because I know that you need some, like, tinder or something to do that. So I'm going to go ahead, maybe probably get some more fuel, um, let that refine as I look up how much I actually need so we don't make it halfway and then die or something. Again, I have no idea how this works. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so after doing a little bit of research, I found all the parts that I need to make a space station once we go there. It's just a little bit of tin, a little bit of aluminum. It's not too bad. And I put five buckets of fuel here, or five millibuckets, or 5,000 millibuckets. Um, a fuel in this fuel loader, which fills it up about that much. I couldn't find anywhere, I didn't look that hard, but I couldn't find anywhere how much fuel you actually need to get to a space station. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that's enough. Um, unfortunately, we are not going to be able to do this this episode. Because even though it seems like we're almost ready, there is still a lot we have to do. For example, oxygen. We can't breathe in space. So we're going to have to do some stuff with that. And I have no idea how that works, so that could take another episode, or I could do it maybe this episode. I'll have to look into it more. And also, what we're going to need to do is get into the um, Advanced Portals mod a little bit. Um, maybe it's not Advanced Portals. What's it called? Portal. Oh, Enhanced Portals, not Advanced. So Enhanced Portals. Um, enhanced Portals 2, actually. So with this, we'll be able to put a portal here by our base and then a portal up on our space station so that we can quickly teleport back and forth 
without without having to uh, remake spaceships and re keep on refueling them and all that. So we're going to have to do that. Um, let's see if we can get this done this episode so that way next episode we can start working on oxygen a little bit. Okay, guys, so I, I got, like, the basic supplies that I need for um, enhanced portals here. So hopefully I'll be able to make at least a couple portals so we can test it out over here in the overworld before we uh, go to the space station and put one there. So I went and got a bunch of obsidian from the nether because um, I know I'm going to need at least a bunch of that. So let's get crafting here. So this is what we need to actually activate the portal. Um, to make a normal nether portal into an enhanced portal. Um, so it just takes some diamonds. You know, you can see it here. And then we just need the flint and steel also combined with uh, glowstone. So let's go ahead and make one of these. I should have everything I need. Let's see, we got iron, obsidian... Flint and steel. Sometimes it doesn't work if the items don't stack, and since these things don't stack, that's probably why it didn't work when I um, tried to auto craft it. But that's fine. And we're actually going to need two of these. So I'm actually going to have to make another one of these flint and steels because you need one of those to activate the portals too. So I'm going to need another one. But that's fine. So because obviously I'm going to need one for each side. That's why I need two. So I should just be able to turn this portal over here into an enhanced portal just by breaking out one of these. And all you have to do is make this face inward. So the purple side has to face um, the same side as the portal. So let's make one, another one of those flint and steels so we can test it out here. Got some iron on me already. And we need a little bit of glowstone. Just two. I think that's over here. There we go. I'll just take it all. There we go. And this should activate the portal. Okay, so now this is an, an enhanced portal, not just a normal portal. Um, but right now it'll still probably just take me right to the nether, to the same exact thing, because we haven't done any upgrades to it yet. So, yeah, this just takes us to the same portal. You know, I actually noticed that my hearts turn red. Like, even though I've, I've still got the same 15 hearts, but it, it looks red to me. That's it's, kind of weird. Um, but they're still there. Like, when I take damage, it doesn't go down. just thought that was some weird little bug. Kind of annoying, actually. So now we have a portal modifier here. Um, and we can adjust some things here. So I think this is the the thickness here so we can actually make it um, a full block. Does that work? I think we have to... Uh, um, I think we have to break it and then put it back down. I'm not going to do that right now. And then the facade, I think that's actually the color. So I think if I put like a dye in there, it'll change the color of the portal. Although it doesn't really make sense to put purple in there and it does it. But yeah, I'm guessing... Actually, now that I think about it, I think that's actually like you can make it look like another block. So like if I put limestone in there. Can't put limestone in there. So maybe it is just dyes. Well, I can put wood in there. Alright, so it's got something to do with making this look different. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and break this and Okay, let's give it another light here. And let's light it up. Okay, see, so that's kind of that's kind of weird. Uh, it actually looks um, like wood now. It glows like the portal still, so it looks kind of kind of cool actually. I kind of like that. I think I'll leave that in there for a little bit. But basically, we're still gonna have to connect this to another portal. Um, so I'm actually gonna have to break this, or actually just break this right here, so I can still access this block here. Since I made this a full block, I'll go ahead and make that normal for now. So we're going to have to make some upgrades for it. Um, I think we're going to have to make a dimensional upgrade, because by default this can only take us to the nether, but we want us to take it to space. And I'm actually just going to go sleep really quick. Okay, so the upgrades are pretty easy to make. You just have to make this upgrade card, which 
takes the purple die that I had in my inventory. So I think we only need a couple of them. Do they stack? Yeah, they do. I'll just make four for now. Because we're going to have to put at least two in each. Um, so we're going to need a dimensional upgrade. Which takes an ender pearl, some gold, and some iron. I don't have any gold on me, so let me grab that. In this chest. Can't wait to get that Project Red system set up so I don't have to keep searching through all these chests all the time. So a dimensional upgrade. Did I pass it? There it is, dimensional upgrade. So we're going to need two of these. One for each side. And then I think that's it. Sound, dimensional, kinetic, nether frame, resourceful modifier camouflage and a dialing upgrade portal modifier upgrade allows the use with a dial device um i think we're going to need this one too so let's make a couple of these because i know that we're going to want to use a dial device so now i think that all we have to do is right click on them with these two right here just like that and um for now, let's make another portal just over here to test it. Um, that's got to be facing up. Like that. And then we'll just make a, a normal 2x2 two two portal here. Um, you can do crazy shapes with this. Um, you can even go like down on the sides, which is pretty sweet. But for now, I'm just going to be doing this just to test it. And again, we'll put these upgrades on them. And let's put the facade as, can we do obsidian? That'd be cool. No, nope, can't do obsidian. Can we do spruce wood? Yeah, we can do spruce wood. All right, let's do that. And then we'll give it a light. Um, what did I do wrong? Dimensional upgrade. Oh, do I need a dialing device if I have that? All right, let's take that out and then see if I can light it. No. Okay, so I just took the upgrades out and then broke this and then put it down and now it's working. So I'm not sure what that's about, but it's working now. So, okay, so now we have to give this an identifier. So let's just do a pickaxe for now. Okay, so now this, this portal right here is a pickaxe. And then if we come over here and we make this one a pickaxe. This identifier is in use. So what happens if we try and go through it? I kind of thought if you put them both as a pickaxe, then you could go in between them, but it doesn't look like it. That's strange. Okay, what if I take that out? Pickaxe. Okay. So maybe this dial upgrade is not what we need. Okay, let's let's go in and see what happens. Oh, it worked. Okay, so I guess we don't need a dialing upgrade right now. Oh wow, it's instant too. Okay, so I guess actually we don't need as much with this portal thing as I thought we did. I thought that we'd have to uh, put in the dialing upgrade and then get the dialing device and do all that. But I think just to go between these two areas, like between uh, this portal and then the space station where that one's going to be, I think all we need is a dimensional upgrade so we can go from di to different dimensions. But then what I got to do is run in and we're good. That's actually really, really quick. Like there's no delay at all. I think actually the kinetic upgrade would be pretty cool because what that does is it, it doesn't make you slow down at all. So if I were to run through and jump, um, I would jump out the other end, which I think would be pretty cool. So yeah, I think that that's actually just another step done to get to our space station. Because that's actually just going to be so easy. Because once we get up there and put this portal down, all we got to do is jump in and we're back home and then jump back. That is really, really cool. And we can do some cool stuff with the border. It doesn't have to be obsidian and we can make it all look fancy. But that's another step. 
Um, before we do that, we're obviously going to have to get some oxygen. Oh wow, my camera's all zoomed out from the, the rocket. The rocket does this until you relog. That's That's really far away. Sounds like I'm from all the way back here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, so the next episode, we can get working on our oxygen and get closer to our space station so we can really get started with this pack. So I will see you guys next time.